Yoshi versus uh, Lucas. Again, so Yoshi versus Lucas. No, both of them are very floaty characters. Uh, Yoshi with the more aerial mobi mobility and uh, the the faster hitboxes. Now that frame three Nair, but Lucas with the projectiles. Now can he zone him out with that uh, PK fire in his air? And, and this this is pretty much the game. It's like they're both just jumping in the air, hoping like Lucas just hoping a PK fire kind of like interrupts. Uh, Yoshi's approach shops, and the Yoshi just hoping he can land in a, a fair or a dare or something. One of his aerials. Ooh, finally manages to catch him on the ground. You know, that, that's one of the really hard things about Edge Guardian Lucas is because he has that tether recovery, so he can just immediately snap the ledge. Ooh, tries to use the PK fire to catch the landing, but not going to find it. But he did manage to manage the tether recovery by that time by going for the Nair. Ooh, there's the Nair to dash attack, or the, the Zare to dash attack. And using the PK freeze, we're going to be able to find it. And ooh, using the down tilt just to just poke him off stage right there. And again, like you have to be super careful when you hit anything on Yoshi's shield because you can just press the A button and it was like, hey, I eat a big boot to the face. Oh, I like that idea so much. That was such a good idea in theory, you know, using the, the side smash to send the egg projectile back. But, you know, Suga just being able to stay one step ahead and you know, punish him for it. And again, Lucas needs to find this grab or the stock at some point because, you know, he's just bleeding life at this rate. Uh, you can definitely tell that Lucas does not like to be the one approaching in the matchup. When he approaches, he leaves himself up open more for uh, his defenses up more, but manages to land that fair at 98%. So. Yet again, it's going to be really hard for him to make up all this percent, but he still has another stock, so it is definitely doable for him to bring it back, but not if he gets just nared all the way off stage like that. Now, that's the other thing that's super scary about Yoshi is that he can go in super deep for those edge guards, and all he needs is just one in order to send you off off stage like that. Ooh, eats a pretty meaty dare right there, and punishes the nair with his own nair. Oh, yeah, that was good on him to punish the, the dare, you know, not dropping shield until the last hit is landed. And, wow, he manages to get... The, that is such a bad move. When you when you hit the move and you get punished for landing it, that Yoshi side B is actually, like, probably one of, like, top five, like, worst moves in the game. And yet again, like... There's like no priority on that move. It's just, I mean, if you know how to use it, you can like do some like wonky movement, but you know, and like all you have to do is just throw out a hitbox and it just beats it out. And you know, that was so good. You know, a lot of characters, they when they drop ledge from that, they immediately go for ledge immediately. But uh, Suga, what he did right there, he's kind of just like double jumped away from the ledge and you know, used his superior air mobility to kind of trust that he would be able to double jump back on the stage uh, above, up and above the down smash. Ooh, there's a re-grab, and it doesn't matter when he gets zared because he'll just up air armor through it. You know what? This looked like very, very even at the start of the match. You know, I feel like this is one of those matchups where neither character really wants to lose their stock first because that just determines the entire pace of the rest of the set. And here we go to game two. Three, two, one, go! And it, oh. you know, if I will say anything about Saidi that's like okay, is that it does 15%, which is not bad damage. That's about the only thing that's good about it, is that it does like okay damage. Uh, 
and ooh, gets the uh, strong hit of back air right there. There's a four tilt. There's the jab logging. He's going for the fair and not going to be able to quite find it. No, DI's out for it. Ooh, but man, just to snipe out that, that tether recovery with the, the down tilt. Ooh, that was a really good punish on the parry. No, I love Muffin from Mars, like, recovery and back on the stage. No, he's making it super hard for Yoshi to, like, kind of uh, oppress him. Ooh, you know, using the egg to kind of cover his recovery back on the on the center stage. You know, I, you know, Lucas has been throwing out a lot of moves that, like, on any other character, that would have hit and that would have, like, sent him off stage. But, you know, Yoshi having that up uh, uh, super armor on his uh, uh, double jump means that, like, he can aggressively approach Lucas and, like, beat out a lot of Lucas's moves because he'll just armor through it. Here we go. Oh, good good tech roll in to avoid the, the job block potential setup. And again, that's, like, that's what you have to do. You know you know characters that with the consistent job block setups, like, they're going to look for it every time, so you need to be able to tech it every single time. Here we go. You know, Yoshi just feeling free to just kind of just bob and weave outside of Lucas's attack range. Oh, Lucas finally manages to find something, and you know it, it just seems so hard for Lucas to find something. But you know what? He doesn't have to find something. You're just gonna run right into this down smash. Is what you're gonna do. I'm not gonna approach you. Ooh, I like that. That was such good uh, recovery from Lucas right there. Yet again, just all these uh, spaced aerials on shield. Ooh, I, I like what Muffin's doing. He's kind of playing it as a slower place, just waiting for Yoshi to kind of approach more in the matchup. And it'll be like, okay, how is he going to punish it? But a quick up air out of shield will take out that stock. And the, the, the lead and the momentum that uh, Lucas had going forward, but did he snipe him out? He did snipe him out, and that's going to be it because he doesn't have a double jump. Yep, and there we go. Now we're on even stocks on game two. Now, will we see uh, Muffin make this comeback, or are we going to have Sugar just close out this set 2-0? You know, I think Muffin's definitely playing a lot more patient in the matchup now. He's waiting for Sugar to kind of like approach him and you now stuffing out all those approach options, you know, kind of punishing the landing. You always have to watch out for the great equalizer of the Yoshi forward air. Oh, and you, just as I say, you know, he, he's fishing for it because he knows that, like, okay, I'm kind of in a bad position. Well, as long as Muffin can hold on to this lead, you know, he could be able to finish the stock out before he gets into too serious trouble. Ooh, that that Zare to grab such a such a good confirm for Lucas, and because all three of his throws are kill throws, like up throw, forward throw, and back throw are all kill throws. So doesn't matter where on stage you are, he will find the optimal throw to kill you with it. And again, has a double jump, but like here's the PK Thunder, and that's the other thing that Lucas can do in the matchup. Ooh, there's a quick bear off stage, but. You know what? Oh my god. I know a lot of Yoshis, like, they'll throw out the, the egg to try to combo off of it into the fair. But, you know what? Sugar is just one hit away from just stealing this game from Muffin. And there's that one hit, but no, he's living! He's living! But he's going off stage, and, you know, he just barely makes it back on the stage. No, this is, like, super close for both players. He gets narrowed off stage, and. He gets sniped with the, the, the egg and gets the double jump, but he still has it up B. Oh my god, both. Lucas is struggling. He needs to find this grab and this something before Yoshi finds his his hit. Like, both players are just looking for that one hit out kill, but will PK Fire be it? PK Fire will be it. Oh my god, Muffin kind of breathing a sigh of relief. Like, oh my god, that was so close on both players. Now, Muffin had that like 100% lead. He was doing fine, and Sugar was slowly but surely bringing it back. I mean, it, it's fine to have a lead, but a lead is nothing if they don't close out the stock. And now we are going to game three. Oh, 
Sugar versus Marfin from Mars. All right, here we go. And yet again, here's the, the Smashville platform, kind of in the middle, so it kind of helps both players out, like, land in central stage. And you just see this, like, kind of, like, bait and punish game between both players. You know, they're trying to space out whatever aerials, because they know that if they're aerial west, the, the other opponent has options to kind of punch them for it. And then again, you cannot miss space any of your aerials, because the second that you do, both both characters can like kind of nair and kind of like punish you for it. Oh, wow, was that a bait? That was a bait. That was one of the best baits I've, I've seen. Yeah. Ooh, with the, the the sour spot of Nair will actually send him off stage. You know, it doesn't matter which way you DI, you're just going to die. And yet again, quick. Oh, man, just him off stage. You know, but the egg will be able to catch his recovery. You know, that's, what, that's a sign of a good Yoshi player when they can be like, I'm going to throw an egg right here, and if you try to edge guard me, you will die. Or you, you won't die, but like you'll get hit by the egg for it, and I can like combo off of that. Or I can make it back on the stage and just get center stage control. Ooh, the quick back throw off stage will even out the socks. Again, a quick bear out of shield. Here's the egg. Snipes him with the egg, but it doesn't matter because he can just tether back on the stage for free. And yet again, Lucas trying to throw out all these aerials to kind of pressure Yoshi, but... Oh, I like what Yoshi was trying to do there. He was trying to uh, use the, the neutral B to, to just gimp him. Oh, but there's the fair off stage. No, it gets hit by the egg. And, you know, I, I liked what Muffin was doing there. He just barely drift out so that he wouldn't be hit by that bear. Ooh, but, oh my god, just barely. He drops shield for just a second so that he wouldn't use it. And then he puts shield back up just in time to uh, avoid getting hit by all the, the, the down B. So he was able to avoid a sh full shield break. And again, now we're kind of in like a reverse situation where, you know, Muffin was is the one at like super high percent and those Sugar kind of struggling to find the kill. So yet again, you know, a lot, throwing a lot more moves, but you know what, like when you try punishing it, you know, it, it, the quick like, oh, okay, I'm gonna uh, hit something on your shield, then drop below platform and hit you with an up air. Ooh, eats a lot of damage for that dare. It's a fair, and he's looking for another one, but not gonna be able to land it. And yet again, he's off stage once more. But yet again, reading the, the jump out of shield from that egg. And you know what? Sugar is just stealing this game at this point. You know, Muffin hasn't been able to get a hit in for like the past like 30 seconds. And here we go, just one last hit. Oh my god, not quite enough. And, you know, Sugar just barely avoiding that. Gets a, wow, gets a down tilt to grab and up throw, and we are at even stocks. Last stock, not quite last hit. You know, can Muffin, you know, make a repeat of game two, or will Sugar be able to clean out the stock? But, no, he doesn't have a... Oh, my God. I feel like that was a re-grab, so Sugar could have easily just waited for Lucas to uh, re-grab the legend and punish him for that. You know what? No, Muffin's at 142. He need he needs to just get a, a a hell of a gimp. But you know what? That back air is just like you know what? I'm not gonna let you get that gimp. I'm ending this right here, right now. And there we go. Sugar.